Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the 11 new gun skins introduced with the PUBG Mobile 0.9.0 Global Update. Courtesy of HydraBeast, who sent me the video as well as the thumbnail. He has a YouTube channel, produces PUBG Mobile content. I suggest you check it out in the video description down below, and if you enjoy what you see, definitely consider subscribing to him as well as this channel. So let's go ahead and get started first with the Rainforest AUG. This looks really awesome. It has almost like an orc face on the back on the uh, stock there. And uh, man, green and orange definitely stands out. Probably the not, not the most camouflaged skin in the world, but it does look pretty awesome. Next up, we have the QBZ with some Halloween theme skins. First up, the Phantom skin, which has like a maybe a devil or a succubus or something on it. And I'm really liking the fact that these skins are more than just like shapes and colors. Uh, definitely, whoever's designing these for Tencent or PUBG Mobile, definitely putting a lot of thought into them. And boy, it really does show. So unfortunately, in first person perspective, especially, you can't really enjoy the gun skin too much. But I suppose your enemies will see it and your uh, players will see it. So maybe... Maybe when a player dies, this is just a random off-the-cuff idea I have, but um, maybe the gun skin would drop with the player and then you could pick it up and use it for the rest of the game or something like that. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, that was the other new halloween theme QBZ skin. Next, we move on to the QBU, the new weapon that replaces the Mini-14 in Sonoc, that DMR designated marksman rifle with the bipod. Here is the Lone Wolf skin. And boy, does that wolf look aggressive with those very, very sharp teeth. Uh, again, just a really interesting, unique concept there. Uh, the, the grip almost, that front grip, uh, because there is no vertical or horizontal grip point for this gun. Instead of that, it's uh, those very, very scary looking teeth. So uh, you can see that this is certainly Halloween themed, these skins, but I think... Uh, I think they look pretty awesome this is the exception the drifter skin so the drifter skin has actually been available for a number of other weapons up until now but not the uzi so now you get it there how about the ump9 what's the new skin there well we have the halloween party skin which actually is pretty uh, it's a pretty neat design there you've got some like 45 degree angle white and like almost like a metallic orange Man, I, I like that one. I don't know why. It just really caught my eye. Not because it's flashy, but because it just, I don't know, it's just like a really solid color scheme. So I'm curious how we get that one, and I'm definitely going to try for it. Next, we have skins for the crowbar, which uh, in those melee-only custom rooms that I'll be hosting, um, they're, they're going to be pretty sweet. So first up, we have a hockey stick, and then we have the golden scepter skin, which is like a cane. So... Man, that is crazy. Very, very neat. And uh, yeah, like I said, going to make those melee only games in those advanced custom rooms way more interesting when you're throwing something like that around. How about a sickle skin? It's great for harvesting crops and also impaling your enemies with this touch of death skin. Now, it still only does 60 damage. Doesn't affect the power, obviously, of the weapon, but... Um, Man, yeah, that, that looks aggressive. You've got some, like, spikes on the back of it if you want to swing it like a club, and then you also have that really long, sharp blade. And finally, the pan. Everybody loves the pan. We have the uh, winning chicken skin, and we also have this one, the uh, male player skin. So it's a little PUBG Mobile dude, almost looks like a... Like an animoji almost, or uh, I'm trying to think of what it is exactly, but man, that does look really awesome for sure. So thanks again to Hydra Beast for the video. If you enjoyed it, definitely give this a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my Discord or on the battlefield soon.